Uh, this is just going to be a small update on a couple of things I've changed. I have restructured uh, Abermule to Gortry Forest. Uh, basically the old version, it was much too steep and the trees didn't sit right on it. Uh, I've also added a mill pond uh, next to Captain's Pitch Bridge also known as From Drive Bridge. Uh, what else have I added? Uh, ah, that's another thing I've added, yes. I have moved Ron Drive Holt from where it was and I believe where I have it positioned now is more uh, geographically correct. So uh, I shall show you the what I've done and I hope you enjoy it. Obviously there's still a lot more to do yet. Uh, a lot more blank spaces to fill in, fine details, etc. So I shall show you what I have done. Just need to uh, do this again. For some reason it always does this. It's quite irritating. Um, is it keyboard layout? Nope. I'll get there in a second. Uh, options. Trove and HUD. Yeah, that has a tendency to turn itself off all the time. Uh, and because basically I'm still a bit of a novice at driving steam locomotives. Yeah. You can, you can see where I'm going with this. So, let's take this up to 25. Um, we shall also not be picking up any passengers. Uh, we'll stop at the halts, nevertheless. Uh, the reason we're not picking up passengers is basically because every time I um, create a new version of the map so I don't lose anything, basically any signals or passenger pickups, they stop working for some reason. Still not sure why that is, but it is what it is. I am hoping to hook up an Xbox controller, basically for you know, smooth movement of the, the camera. Um, yeah, basically for that. Just makes the, uh, the video a bit more easier on the eye rather than just sudden jolts like that. If you see where I'm coming from. Um, yeah, the, basically I've also added a new type of rail. Um, I think it's just t titled Branch Line or something near. Well, Branch Line and then something else, but I can't quite remember what that was. Uh, but yeah, it's basically, I chose this type of line as the... what it's called now, the gravel underneath the rail is uh, a lot darker and to me that seems a bit more realistic as I believe Ron Drive Quarry was actually used in helping of getting the, the gravel underlay for this line. So darker gravel from basically a I'm not sure if, no it wasn't slate, I'm not sure what type of stone they mined from it, but um, yeah, just 
just try and get that open. Yeah, this this line I don't think speed-wise it ever exceeded any more than 25 miles an hour. Uh, this was due to it following the Mill River slash stream. And there were some very tight curves on it, so locomotives weren't allowed any faster on the line than 25. We're almost at Gautry, where I have also repositioned Goitry Brickworks. Uh, I'm just hoping this line is behaving, because when I was redoing it sometimes it wouldn't connect properly for some reason. Uh, probably an error by myself. But nevertheless, it was still quite frustrating. Start uh, flying the brakes. Come on. Start slowing down. Probably going to end up slowing down too much now. Well, actually, that's not too bad. And we'll uh, just use the engine, the engine brake. I'd say that's pretty spot on myself. Okay, so just go into world view, and I'll show you the gorgeous brickworks where they're now repositioned. Um, I found this on a website called Coughline or Coughlayen Maps. No idea how you pronounce that. Sorry if it's wrong. Uh, but yeah, basically I've, I've been using a lot of this website to find where buildings are actually positioned. Uh, this is where the, the brickworks was from, was positioned even. And I believe these bricks were actually used to construct Abbey Mule when it started to grow in size. Um, so yeah, that's basically the only new thing in, in Goitry itself. Uh, I'm also wanting to make station signs, names, that kind of thing. Uh, but I have no idea how on earth to do that. Uh, so if anyone does watch this, they know how. Uh, and if they could put it in a layman standard script kind of thing in the comments, that would be very helpful. Um, as I said, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more to do here. Uh, but Goitry and Ron Vryf, they're probably the hardest to find any information on because how small they are and they weren't very well known really even when the, the railway was here uh, basically the only people that did use it was the people from you could say the Paris Montgomeryshire area uh, so yeah there, there wasn't much that I know of that was around here I know the brick books is here there's probably more um, I'll probably have to look back on the the cough line website, cough laying, whatever it is, uh, to find out a bit more building positioning. Uh, right, let's hop back into the train. Or outside the train, technically, but you know what I mean. Okay, um, let's go. Brakes are off. Um, another thing, uh, I, I don't know how loud this video is going to turn out. Um, so I'm sorry if any parts of it are really loud. I should have warned you really at the start of the video, but 
Yeah, my brain's a bit like a goldfish. I tend to forget the simplest of things very, very easily. Nope, bit of lag there. Come on. See if we change camera view. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yes, there we go. Yeah, so you'll notice a lot of undulation and climb on this line. Uh, basically, since I've basically since I've uh, put this different type of branch line down, uh, I haven't gone over it with the smoothing tool. So you basically get that nice, even, smooth drop if there's an incline or a climb. So turn the volume down a little bit. That is quite loud. There we go. I believe that'll be better. But uh, yeah, as you can see on the right hand side, this is the reconstruction of the very fast forest on on the upper mill to Goitry stretch. Uh, I think it looks a lot more pleasing myself. Uh, I will be out, uh, most of these are the 2D style trees, uh, basically because they're at a distance. You can't really tell unless you move the camera quite, quite suddenly. Run at this time. So yeah, uh, we'll go back into the free room camera again, or the world view, whichever its name does. Um, yeah, ignore this shoddy bit. I'm basically been repositioning a lot of things. This is where the road is going to be, but I need to uh, curve it, follow, make sure it follows the curve of this. So, yep, yeah, there's a car going to the dead end there. Uh, so yeah, if I just back away a little bit, you can see how long this bar of forest stretched. Um, I am going to be adding 3D trees, uh, coniferous and deciduous, in these sort of areas, because it was actually on both sides of the line. So basically, this line up until Goit tree, which was back there, was pretty much engulfed in trees. Uh, so basically, you'd have seen forests. I mean, you'd have seen a few other things, but not really that much. Um, this is where I have repositions from Vrave Hold to. Uh, whereas originally, I, I thought, even I should have known because I've been there quite a few times, it's quite local to me. Um, I thought originally it was next to Captain's Pitch Bridge or Vron Drive Bridge. Uh, so basically I look, used Google Maps and the Coughlane uh, map thing which is basically you get your basic standard maps modern uh, and there's a scroll bar on it and that basically puts an overlay of Victorian mapping over it which is very very helpful for this kind of thing. Uh, there's probably I'm not sure how widespread it is, but I believe it's the whole of the United Kingdom. I could be wrong, though. Um, if I remember, I will add the link in the description, because I think it will help a lot of other people uh, build in railways, if that's the kind of thing you're into. 
Okay, moving on. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure with this branch line um, for how long the Cambrian locomotives were used because this was originally part of the Cambrian railway. Uh, I'm not really sure when the Great Western locomotives came in or if they were indeed very similar. Um, there isn't any Cambrian modelled locomotives that I know of in any websites that I've looked at. Looked at. Uh, if anyone knows of any, if again they could let me know in the comments section, that would be very helpful because I want to make this as realist realistic as possible. But saying that, as long as I don't have uh, anything too modern on here, because this basically closed in the 50s, I think it was 57 might be a few years out of date, uh, a few years wrong even. Uh, yeah, this is originally the mill pond, it no longer exists, it was basically filled in, the mule was rerouted, as far as I'm aware. Uh, basically they, they stopped using it because there wasn't the demand for wood anymore. When it closed, I don't know, there isn't really much information, but I guess I'd probably put it in the 30s era, when the Great Western started taking over the, the Cambrian era of the line. So yeah, it's a very slow work in progress, but it, it, is, it is coming along quite nicely, to be honest. a bit of a gap underneath the line there. I will have that sorted next time, well then for the next video I upload. So yeah, back in the, the early days, uh, all bridges that I know of were basically this style of wooden trestle. Uh, the bridges I'm using are from the CPRR railway, which is a, an American railway. I think you get the, the Jupiter class locomotive with it. So I, I use that because that basically is the only wooden trestle bridge that I've got that looks right. Oh, a little bit too fast there. So yeah, this is um, Abbot Mule that I'm pulling into now. Uh, there isn't much in that mule, as you can see. Uh, the left side is a quite a bit more built up. Let's put the brakes on. See ya. Over to the right, you have got the the Admiral Pub, which is actually named the Admiral. Uh, you've got the original layouts of Admiral. Um, sadly, today Admiral Station is closed. Uh, all that's left of Admiral now, actually, you can't even use the platform anymore. Uh, if anyone's a train spotter, you can't use that. Um, and basically the only piece of this left is this line straight through that's all that's left, it's just one line obviously you 
can't take it any further because I haven't built towards that way. Which is a great shame, really. Um, I mean, in all fairness, having mule isn't that big, but the station there would help congestion. That's just my point of view. I, I think he, just the even if it's just a platform and you get the tickets on the train or if they just put a small ticket machine on the, the platform I think it would be a great help to uh, to help him yawn. Eh, again that's just my opinion it is quite a small place uh, basically the houses that are there are pretty much how many houses there was there is more on this side of the line probably about double that amount going up this way but yeah this is Albany Mule this is how it was uh, I believe probably up until the 50s 60s and yeah when when lines became not as important as they used to for hauling freight and other things uh, basically this whole line went completely single right the way from Shrewsbury to Aberystwyth although I believe I could be wrong again that they are putting back the double line right the way from Shrewsbury to Aberystwyth which would be a great thing so rather than trains waiting all of the, the passing loops you can have intermittent trains passing each other which will make the service a lot quicker anyway enough but I'm, I'm just babbling on about random stuff now um, so anyway yep this was my second installation of the carry to Ron Vrijf sorry carry to Mule. hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the second one